Hi students, welcome to the session of the second lesson, Long Walk to Freedom, written by Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela's full name was Nelson Rolihlahla Mandela. Nelson Mandela was a great hero who gave freedom to the blacks in South Africa. He was born on 18th July 1918 in the village of Vezo in Amtata, then a part of South Africa's Cape Province. He was the tallest of all the black heroes who waged a relentless fight against the racial regime in South Africa. He fought against the apartheid regime of South Africa which believed in racialism. He suffered untold sufferings and tortures in prison for more than 30 years. But this suffering led the country to install the first democratically elected government in South Africa. He became the first black president of South Africa when his parts came to power in democratic elections in 1994. Finally, he died on 5th December 2013 due to an infection in his respiratory tract. Now, before we start the lesson, let me tell you something about this and give you an idea of it. This lesson forms a part of the autobiography of Nelson Mandela titled Long Walk to Freedom. It is a saga of the glorious struggle that the blacks of South Africa waged against the apartheid regime to gain freedom. Excerpts from Long Walk to Freedom includes description of the inauguration ceremony, citations from his speech, his journey to being a freedom fighter, the struggle along with a tribute to other freedom fighters and countless other people who fought for their freedom and an overview as to how Nelson Mandela along with others carved their way to a society where there will be no discrimination on the basis of their caste, color, race, age or gender. Now let's start off with the lesson. 10th May dawned bright and clear. For the past few days, I had been pleasantly besieged by dignitaries and world leaders who were coming to pay their respects before the inauguration. So here dawned this. Uh, the day began and uh, besieged is to be surrounded by. Dignitaries are the person... Uh, to be considered very important and who are of high rank or office. The inauguration would be the largest gathering ever of international leaders on South African soil. The ceremonies took place in the lovely sandstone amphitheater. Sandstone is nothing but uh, segmentary rocks consisting of sand or quartz grains which are cemented together. And uh, amphitheater is an open air theater formed by the union, the amphitheater formed by the union buildings in Pretoria. For decades this has been the seat of white supremacy and now it was the site of a rainbow gathering of different colors and nations for the installation of South Africa's first democratic non-racial government. Supremacy is the state of or condition of being superior to others. 
Now, here on the 10th of May, the day was uh, when, it was a day when Nelson Mandela sworn in as the first black head of the state of South Africa, in South Africa and it was after years of struggle that his anti-racist party came into power. Now, when you say race, what do you mean by race? Race is a group of people who have in common some visible physical traits of uh, skin or color or hair structure, facial features, etc. Okay. So, uh, 10th May was the day when Nelson Mandela was uh, sworn in as the first black head of the state in South Africa. And uh, that is why the uh, until then what happened is the seats had always been occupied by white presidents. And this was the first time a black man became a president of South Africa. And that is why the author referred to the day as bright and clear. Because it was a morning full of hope. And uh, days before this date, many notable personalities started congratulating uh, him for his victory. Uh, to whom this Nelson Mandela. And for the first time in the country's history, uh, what happened? Uh, so many international leaders came together for their inauguration ceremony. And the ceremony took place in an open circular building made of sandstone consisting of union buildings in the Pretoria city. So it took place in an open air theater. Circular air theater. On that lovely autumn day, I was accompanied by my daughter Zinani on the podium. Mr. Dayclerk was first sworn in as second deputy president. Then Tabu Becky was sworn in as first deputy president. When it was my turn, I pledged to obey and uphold the constitution and to devote myself to the well-being of the republic and its people. So here, deputy means second in command and sworn is to take oath. And pledged is uh, a person or organization committed uh, by a, a solemn promise. That's called pledge. So here what happened? The author was accompanied by his daughter. Here the author is Nelson Mandela was accompanied by his daughter Zinani on his uh, on this big day. Why is it mentioned? Uh, why is it a big day? Because uh, it is a day when he is going to take up the position of president. And for the first time, the main uh, special thing about this is, he, a uh, black man is going to become a president of South Africa. And this was the first time uh, something was happening like this. So before he took the uh, oath, what happened? The first the two vice presidents took an oath. Then when his turn came, he who are the two vice presidents? The first one, uh, Mr. Dayclerk, he, became, he first took uh, uh, the position as second deputy president. And Tabu Beki was sworn in as the first deputy president. And later on, he took the pledge. Who? Nelson Mandela. He took the pledge. He committed to respect, protect and abide by the constitution and to devote his entire self into the Welfare of the country. <clears throat> to the assembled guests and the watching world, I said, Today all of us do, by our presence here, confer glory and hope to newborn liberty. So here assembled is gathered together and confer is granting, glorious honor and hope to newborn liberty. 
one of the experience of an extraordinary human disaster that lasted too long must be born a society of which all humanity will be proud we who are outlaws not so long ago have today been given the rare privilege to be host to the host to the nations of the world on our own soil so here uh, in south africa a brutal practice called apartheid was followed now what is this apartheid uh, it is the discrimination of people on the basis of their race and i told you all race is the uh, what to say uh, the people who have common uh, uh, features visible traits physical traits like skin or the color hair tex texture or facial features now what happened because of this policy of apartheid in uh, south africa many countries had broken off uh, uh, relations with uh, south africa so this is called outlaws we who were outlaws not so long ago have today been given the rare privilege to be host to the nations of the world on our own soil on our own soil means in our own country so many uh, countries in south africa were split because of this policy of apartheid now today they are all together we thank all of our distinguished international guests for having come to take position with the people of our country of what is after all a common victory for justice for peace for human dignity so here possession means ownership and dignity is the state of being worthy of respect so the author what does he say he mentions some parts of his speech where he said that everyone by his presence was giving rise to hope for a new beginning and uh, uh, previous rulers were uh, discriminatory and lasted for long but the ones who are given opportunity to rule anc would stand up and against discrimination and he was glad to host a ceremony with the presence of global leaders many international leaders it is an achievement in itself so there was a time when south africa was practicing apartheid as i told you and due to which it's lost all its uh, international pol political relationships now there is no segregation on the basis of race and gender and other nations were happy to have healthy democratic relationships with them finally they have come to power and they pledge to make everyone proud and he thanked everyone especially the international leaders for joining them in celebrating their achievement which is a step towards an equal society where every human will be treated fairly equal we have at least at last achieved our political emancipation we pledge ourselves now here emancipation is the process of being set free from legal social or uh, any political restrictions we pledge ourselves to liberate all our people from the continuing bondage of poverty so liberate is to release and bondage is the state of being a slave uh from the bond uh, continuing bondage of poverty bondage is i told you the state of being slave of poverty deprivation deprivation is the damaging uh, lack of material benefits which is considered to be basic necessities of society never uh, suffering gender and other discrimination discrimination is being treated differently never never and never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another oppression is nothing but unjust treatment of one by another the sun shall never set on so glorious a human achievement so glorious is worthy of bringing fame or reputation 
so uh, let freedom reign god bless africa reign is to rule or govern so what he mentions here is that after great struggle they have finally achieved political freedom and his government promised to free everyone of the still existing uh, from the still existing poverty hardship inequalities of all kinds uh, along with assuring uh, and he assured that every one of the country where uh, it will be a country where there will be no community no where no community will be considered inferior who assured nelson mandela he assured he, and he then exclaims that freedom should rule and may god shower his blessings on their land a few moments later we all lifted our eyes in awe as a spectacular array awe is amazed and spectacular is uh, eye catching a uh, beautiful uh, eye catching instant or something array is an impressive display so spectacular array means an eye catching display of south african jets helicopters and troop carriers troop is soldiers or armed forces roared in perfect formation over the union buildings it was not only a display of pinpoint precision precision is accuracy and military force but a demonstration of the military's loyalty to democracy to a new government that had been freely and fairly elected only moments before the highest generals of the south african defense force and police their chest bedecked bedecked to decorate with ribbons and medals from days gone by saluted me and pledged their loyalty i was not unmindful of the fact unmindful is not conscious of the fact that not so many years before they would not have saluted but arrested me finally a chevron of impala jets left a smoke trail so chevron is nothing but a pattern in the shape of v trail is a series or a chain of black red green blue and gold of the new south african flag so here what happened just after the newly elected president's address to the audience an impressive arrangement of uh, fighter jets helicopter and soldier transporters uh, transporters raised everyone's head up in the sky it was a sign of respect to given to nelson mandela so it symbolized perfection as well as military's respect and obedience towards the free country free country here is south africa now and the high commanders who have won medals for their bravery also saluted and promised their loyalty so mandela mentions that he was well aware that those commanders who are now saluting him would have arrested him under the previous rule as during the oppressive white supremacy he was considered to be a criminal and now the same uh, commanders were saluting him who once upon a time uh, put him in prison and this air show finally ended up by making the uh, making of the south african flag in the sky from smoke beneath the jets so um there was a trail smoke trail there's a smoke train of uh, the black red green blue and gold of the new south african flag so this is the flag of uh, um south africa it was like a, looking like a smoke train the day was symbolized for me by the playing of our two national anthems and the vision of whites singing cozy siklel i afriki africa and black singing the die stem the old anthem of the republic 
although that they neither group knew the lyrics of the anthem they once despised they would soon know the words by heart so here symbolized means uh, be a symbol of and lyrics is uh, the words of the song that is the national anthem and despised is hating so what happened the author remembers the day as the playing of two national anthems of the country one of the whites and the others that of the blacks okay uh, so the whites were singing cozy sikilel at i africa and uh, the blacks the dai stem so on that day no one knew the wordings of the anthem of the blacks because till today i mean till date everyone were only singing the national anthem of the whites so they never knew but mandela was confident that everyone would soon learn this anthem that they once hated so that was the scenario which happened that was the uh, that was the incidents which happened there on that day now uh, on the day of inauguration what does he recall and whom does he pay homage to will be discussed in the next session students thank you